Hello, Classical Conversations of Liberty North. It is really good to see you again this week. Um, I am recording two versions of week 22 for you because the first version was outside with a whole group of boys and a 12-year-old filming. And while they did a great job, I thought it might be a tiny bit distracting. So I'm going to go over these things quickly without any kids in the way. Um, so if you, just to help clear things up. All right, so here we go. Week 22, take two. All right, first one, coordinating conjunctions. On my other video, I showed you that we were outside and we went ahead and took chalk and put the coordinating conjunctions on the chalk for and nor, but, or, yet, so, and then had the boys start at the top of the sidewalk. Here's my child starting at the top of the sidewalk, yelling out coordinating conjunctions for and nor, but, or, yet, so fanboys when they got to the end and then the next kid could start or the same kid over and over again again try to do it seven times there we go coordinating conjunctions next one our latin it's just a repeat of the plu perfect tense plu sounds like blue so i had drawn out in the chalk a blue arrow um, if you have coloring crowns, draw a blue arrow with coloring crowns. Um, anyways, it's a blue perfect or blue perfect tense. Um, and the first word starts with arum, which sounds like arrow to me. So we pretended to fire off arrows. So arum, eros, erat, eramus, eratus, erant. All right. And we just sing along with the tune. Aram, Eros, Erat, Aramis, Eratus, Erant. First conjugation, pluperfect tense. Okay, science. What are some ways light is observed? Some ways that light is are observed is observed is reflection, refraction, spectrum, wave, and particle. Very very easy way to help remember this is that I drew on my fingers the very first letter of each word for our new memory work. So reflection, refraction, refraction, spectrum, wave, particle. So that whenever you're going around during the day, you can look down at your hands and you can have that reminder to help you remember what are some ways that light is observed. Um, and there's some fun actions that we have for this too. What are some ways that light is, light is observed? Some ways that light are, is observed, I can't talk in this sentence obviously, is reflection, hold up a mirror, reflection. Refraction, you just broke something. Spectrum, there's a wave of colors for the spectrum. Wave, wave your hand. And particle, all these little particles in the air. Okay, that is your science. And uh, hopefully you can say the sentence better than I did. Okay, the commutative law for addition states A plus B equals B plus A. And what I was trying to get across on our video is a way to remember this. If we're going to make a peg for our memory work, we want to have a good way to remember this next year when we're like, hey, what is the commutative law? Well, in a community, um, you have groups of people. Our groups of people are A and B. It doesn't matter how the groups of people move around there's still a community, right? So I have one boy stand right here for A plus, and then here's the other boy, and then they switch places, and we still have a community of people. So A plus B equals B plus A, and then the commutative law for multiplication states A times B equals B times A. And we did that outside where they were standing on the letters and everything. If you're inside and you wanna trace it and draw it out the way that I told you last week, do it that way, do whatever way makes sense in your house, but that's a new idea. Okay, history sentence. History sentence, tell me about the fall of communism. In 1989, the communist dictators began to fall in Eastern Europe when Soviet General Secretary Gorbachev refused to send the military aid. So here are your actions. In 1989, the communist dictators, so put your communist fist right there, dictators began to fall, drop your fist, in Eastern Europe when Soviet General Secretary Gorbachev refused to send them military aid. 
Um, this is a weapon that I had in my house, a little toy weapon. I'm a mom of boys, there's many weapons in the house. If you have no weapons, you can also just use your finger and pew pew. All right, um, Gorbachev refused to send the military aid. Military aid usually includes weapons and everything. So I hid the weapon behind my back and the boys were pleading for the weapon and that is how I would end that part. So whenever, whenever Gorbachev refused to send them military aid and the boys are pleading. That's your history sentence. Okay, your geography. I have a big map today, but I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can get this positioned right. Okay, our geography is Oceania. I can use my weapon to point this out. Okay, we're gonna go for Australia. Great Barrier Reef, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, and Indonesia. Okay, I was pointing out while you're doing this at home, um, if there is a way that they can help remember the shape of a island or a country or anything, definitely use that to their advantage. So like Papua New Guinea looks like a little fat dinosaur and chasing this monkey. Do you see the monkey right there? but it looks like a fat little dinosaur chasing this monkey. Indonesia kind of has a smile right here, but a whole bunch of broken teeth. So it's a whole bunch of broken teeth and a really funky smile right there. So um, you can definitely look at your book inside of your maps, they're labeled. Start off with the labeled ones if you want to, and then start taking the labeled away and seeing if they can do it with a blank map, okay? And then you could start going slow at first and then speed it up. Anyways, that is all of your new grammar for week 22, the non-distracted version. I hope you enjoy. I'll talk to you later. Bye.